Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. <coughs> and then, first thing, I'm just going to show you guys how to get to the end and how to kill the Ender Dragon. So at first, you look around, you get on survival, but I'm just doing it on creative to make it much quicker. You get not Ender Pearls, you need end, Eye of Enders. So what you do is you throw the Eye of Enders up to get to the end. So why throwing the Eye of Ender up? You'll see like a path in the sky, kind of, as you may be able to see here. And when it leads you to the actual line, which you can see which I've built there, that's where it's going to lead us to. So we keep doing the line like this, and eventually we'll find the big tower in the sky where I put there, which shouldn't be there. And when basically the eye of enders, you won't get that many, you'd have to keep throwing them up separately, but it'll be fine when you're on the ground, it's fine. And you just keep throwing them up, and eventually they leave you a point like this, and then they just all gather together from all different angles. They all gather together, and they all go down in the same spot. So that's when you know you are near the thing, the cave. So you dig down. I've already done it, and you find a cave like this where you'll find a couple of chests, dungeon, and all that, and that's a silverfish spawner. And then you find the end portal, which you have to put the eye of enders in, and I just break a little bit for you and for some reason the end portal stays there, I don't know why and then just put one back in and then walk over, I don't even go in the portal and it sends me through so I'm now in the end, so you'll need to build a path across there out of dirt so the first thing you want to do when you go to the end is take lots of dirt and armour and food on survival which I don't really need to do because I'm creative but I'm just doing this so you guys know how to survive in the end so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your dirt and build a cross like we did from the obsidian and then build straight up to a tower like this. And then you, like I do here, I break the tower with my hand, a sword, but I think the explosive damage can knock you off and kill you. So I wouldn't do that, I would just sit at the top of the tower and shoot arrows across. But as you may be able to see here, I'm just going ground a little and in a minute I'll be doing some arrows because I'm recording it as afterwards because it didn't work for the first time. So you want to get a bow, take a bow with you as well, and you get a lot of arrows because you might do some missing, but you can shoot them. So what you want to probably do is go up a tower and shoot the one next to the tower, like this now. And you can't. I tried shooting them from down here. You got to be a really good shot, which I couldn't hit it. My shots were just too low for it, but it just didn't hit. So I gave up with that and then moved up up to here. And this is how you do it: you shoot one on here shoot it across like that and then you do all of them I don't think you can shoot a long range one so what you'd have to do is you'd have to get off it or build a path across the next one you could use ladders or vines to do it as well vines are not always a good thing to use because they're easy to get so you just break all them and on these um, ones with the cage over you want to go up to it first then break it with your hand or something and then and then destroy it with the bow or the sword if you're going to be risky but you probably could survive yourself if you put like a wall around it if the explosive damage doesn't get you so once you've killed all these the ender dragon now has no like health regeneration system so all you have to do is what I would do here is I go over to the bit where the ender dragon comes in in the middle because arrows are too inaccurate to hit the ender dragon really they're prob probably really hard to do to hit so what you do now is you just dig down keep digging like this and that's how I would do it I would dig down like that and stay in there for like when the ender dragon is firing or when he's coming down when he fires fireballs and things like that or something like that and go under here because the ender dragon can't hit you here and you sit there with your sword like this keep hitting the dragon keep hitting it keep hitting it so that's how you kill the ender dragon within here so you just want to keep repeating this process and you'll kill the ender dragon eventually so you can just watch me just kill the ender dragon and afterwards you've killed the Ender Dragon. Uh, I'm not really going to spoil it for you guys. You probably haven't killed it yet on Xbox 360. But like a a weird thing comes. It's not too weird, but it's cool. And you just a little thing. It's not really a spoiler. This you get XP from it. And I'm probably going to leave this video running for you guys to see what actually happens. I'm sorry, there is no gameplay sound because my Elgato has glitched. But we don't need the gameplay sound really to do this because it's not that important it's just killing the ender dragon it's really more about what I'm doing so this is how you kill it you just in creative mode you just fly around after it 
keep hitting it, etc, etc. So that's really it. So please like and subscribe if you're going to leave the video now. Or if you want to stay on and listen to me for a bit. And about a couple of things that are coming up that I need your help with, guys. Um, stay and listen. So the first thing we're going to have to do is I need some builders. Just for... I've already helped. I'm helping some of people out with things. But I just want some... For my help. Just some good builders. Just to help me do my little course I'm building. Little idea. So if you join me... I'll show you it. I'm actually on it now on the new update. So yeah, if you want to join me on that, join in because you'll enjoy it and it's just really fun. I just need some big help. Just where to put some things really. If we have a couple of things to put in. So it's pretty sick, that thing I'm building. It's not bad, it's really good. You'll like it guys. So please coming out me out I really do need some help with this new building I'm building it's gonna be it's not like a building it's like a, a new structure that I've came up with an idea <coughs> here's me just still finishing off the dragon but more talking about what's coming up next is I've got some more let's plays to do with the new update and spawn eggs and all that and I hope you guys really do come and help because the idea I've made is so good I just really need your help to do it guys. This is gonna be really hard to do it. So it'd be really helpful if you guys can come in and help us out with my new structure. We're gonna have a set we're gonna have some structures that you guys can break in it, things like that. It's like a kind of Hunger Games, but it's not. So I've killed the end dragon then. You saw it explode and all that, and XP and yeah. And I'm just gonna probably end the video here. I don't really want to show you guys this bit because this is the spoiler now. If you're watching it now, as soon as I go through here, it just tells you basically the spoiler. But you can watch it on mine if you want to see it. It's not that much of a spoiler, but basically it takes you back to the start and comes up with a load of writing. So that's that's it. That is the spoiler. Not really a very good one, but that's it. You can watch it here now. And then afterwards, you can actually go back into the portal and then come out of the portal to get back into the end, if you know what I mean. So please like and subscribe. And I hope you did enjoy my tutorial on how to get to the end. And I will have some more videos on the screen. So you please click on them ones if you've seen them, or just go and check out some more videos. I've decided not really to put my outro on the video because I like to. It saves a little bit of time because my computer is quite slow. See, so it really does help if I don't put an outro on my videos. But it's not really that important at this stage, so I'm not going to use the outro. I'm going to use some thumbnails, I'm going to make some new ones. Outro is not the most important thing, so yeah, you've got the videos on the screen. Please like and comment on what you think, and really do send me a message if you really want to help, and I've got to. I've got to see your world first and if it's good or not, but if you're a good builder and you know you're a good builder, just please come and help. I really do need you. And, yep, yeah, please like and subscribe. Postbox Pat, signing out.